Marquise Govan is a super bright 11-year-old kid from Ferguson, Missouri, and he went to a city council or committee meeting to discuss the recent situation, and he nailed it. I would just like to say that the people of Ferguson, I believe, don't need tear gas thrown at them. I believe they need jobs. I believe the people at Ferguson, they don't need, need batons. They don't need to be hit with batons. What they need is uh, people to be investing in their businesses. We don't need uh, all these rubber bullets being shot at us uh, and people and the people of Ferguson. What we need is uh, we need we need better living and housing conditions. That's what we need. And I would like the board, uh, the council, to get a bill that would help North County. I would also like to say that we need to diversify. Uh, we need a more diverse government. We need to make sure that uh, people uh, of minority are, get a chance to uh, serve on police departments. We also need better educations for the people in North County. That's not being solved. And that's why I'm here today, to tell you that, that the real issues aren't being solved, that you're paying attention to the wrong things. You're paying attention to the looting and things like that when the real issues aren't being solved. There's a reason why those people are out there. I also want to say that we need to... Um, what I mean by diversifying is, I mean, uh, where are all the African-American police officers in our community? Uh, when we have a majority African-American community and we have majority white police um, departments, where are all the African-American police officers? And why do we have um, mostly people of ma the major majority working in our neighborhoods? Why don't we have people that are our color working in our neighborhoods. It's not right that we have people, uh, why, that we can't get a job in our own neighborhoods, that we have people who are white working in our own neighborhoods. It's not right that we can't even get a job in our own neighborhoods. Thank you. Thank you, Marquise. <laughs> that kid is 11 years old. His point, I think, is irrefutable. Because if you look at the conservative perspective on this, what it boils down to is there's a bunch of rowdy blacks who can't control themselves because that's just how they are. Now, that that's not just my opinion or conjecture. This is I always go to conservative sites because it's what I do for a living is cover the news and do political commentary. So I'm always all over the place. And whether it's World Net Daily, Daily Call, or you name it, everything is like, ah, just the rowdy blacks getting out of control, looting, because they're just more violent by their nature, they're inferior by their nature. Now, they only say it in so many words, and of course, they have to sugarcoat it in the year 2014, unless you go to, like, a white nationalist website, pro-Confederate website, or what have you, okay? But that's the message. That's the, that's the root of the situation to the far right. And what Marquise is saying is, no, maybe these people are mad because the education system sucks, because there's no jobs for them, so they live in a hopeless circumstance. And maybe they're also mad because the mostly white police are abusing power on a regular basis. So when you're living, you know, in a caged circumstance like this, where all hope is lo lost, or most hope is lost, and you know, you have no chance of a positive future to better yourself, yeah, you're going to get angry. And then when a situation like Michael Brown exacerbates it, and you go, oh, right, this is the reality, and it, it, it shoves your face in it and forces you to stare down the reality, yes, people are going to act out, and they should act out. That's the natural response. That's the right response. You have to get change, and you have to get it through popular movements and protests. And also, just to add to what he's saying here, those things are all problems, and they do need to be addressed in a very fundamental and substantive way at the local level, at the state level, and at the federal level. All branches of government need to get their shit together, and we need to get people more jobs and more opportunity and better education and all that stuff. But also, arrest Darren Wilson. They fucking, how long, how long, how long? Imagine the situation was reversed and Darren Wilson was killed by Michael Brown. He would have been arrested in 37 seconds. But if, when Darren Wilson does it, he gets to go on a fucking vacation on a yacht. I'm, I don't know if he actually went on these things. I'm just saying he did not get arrested. 
okay? And then ha have a trial, make sure justice is done, and I fear, of course, in this case, the same thing might happen, like what happened with George Zimmerman, what happened with Jordan Michael Davis, although that guy's getting a retrial now, too, thankfully. I don't know all the details of that, but there we have a chance for justice on that. And actually, he did get some punishment originally. Um, but that's what we want to see. We want to see justice. We want to see that all lives are valued and treated equally under the law, and we want to see that there's a concern for the community, and we want to see all these uplifting practices by getting a better education system, having better jobs, so on and so forth. And look, it takes an 11-year-old. How sad is that? an 11-year-old going in front of a government body to say, hey guys, here's the root of the situation. Because what do people always do? It's such a red herring, but people only focus on the symptoms of the problem, not the problem itself. So what's the symptom in this case? The few examples of looting, right? Uh, when there was some sort of violence that broke out. One Molotov cocktail that was thrown. People focus on that and go, oh, that's the problem right there, the violent black community. See, 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 see? No, no, that's the symptom. The symptom of the problem. The problem itself is everything Marquise just laid out. Darren Wilson not being arrested, the fear that there's going to be no justice done again like there was in the Zimmerman case, bad education system, no jobs, poverty, degrade degradation, so on and so forth. So that's what we need to do. Address those root problems to fix the symptoms. Don't just focus on the symptoms because that's insanely narrow-minded.